Good morning, friends. It's John. It's been a really long time since I've been on this side of the camera, um, but I uh, had lots and lots of changes going on. Um, I'm not going to promise a bunch of videos, but I did make a promise to make one video, uh, and it's for a buddy, and, and uh, we have some history, and uh, good history, and uh, it's because of YouTube, and so uh, this is kind of a celebration of that, that uh that relationship. But anyhow, today I'm going to be uh, trying to get this big crepe myrtle into this killer uh, Eli Aiken pot from, uh, he's, he runs Waldo Street Pottery. Uh, he's out of Atlanta and um, he's really been doing some great stuff with containers and he's not been making them very long, but but uh, his stuff is really cool. So um, I'm, I'm excited to be a friend of Eli's. Um, and, and having the opportunity to use this big container today is, is a, a real treat. So, um, <clears throat> the crepe myrtle is one that I've been working on for three years now. Uh, I'll show you the buds are just busting out. Um, so it's time to get this work done. If I wait any longer, it's going to be too late. But I've got a lot of hard work to do today. These are in clay uh, root ball. The, the root balls are still have a lot of clay in them. And also some of them, this one in particular, seems to need some cutting across the base. So it's gonna be a big challenge today to do what I need to do to get this tree into this container. But uh, I think uh, uh, we'll, uh, hopefully we'll be successful. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Eighteen inch saw blade. So you can see this pot somewhere close to 18, 19 inches in diameter and probably four or five inches thick. The glaze is really cool. Um, I, I'm having a hard time figuring out where uh, where to place the tree. So fortunately it's a round pot so I have some flexibility but I'm looking forward to getting the tree in there. And, and figuring out what I can, uh, where it's going to look best to my eye. You can see the timing's just about right on this tree. The buds are, are swollen. They're not really opening yet, but it'll just be a day or two, and uh, these buds will be popping. So, um, this tree is a crepe myrtle that I started working on three growing seasons ago. Um, I purchased these trees as big landscape material and uh, I have been, uh, I chopped them back, um, put them in these containers three years ago. They still have a lot of clay and stones in the root ball. So most of my task today is going to be cleaning up that root ball, getting it down to a place where I can put it in this, this great container uh, and then trying to see uh, how I'm going to make this this base uh, fit in with uh, uh, that great container. So you can see this tree's got an equally nice base. So. All right, um, I'm going to start by trying to getting this big crepe myrtle out of the pot. It must weigh close to 100 pounds as it is, but I'm going to try to get it out of its pot and uh, start working on the, uh, the the roots. And I'm going to have to do a bunch of sawing and chipping and and it's not going to be pretty but but uh, it'll be worth it in the end all right here we go All right, in that time-lapse video, what you saw me doing was basically uh, pulling out all the soil that was in the roots. There was, uh, there's, and there's still, you can still see some, there's still some clay in there. Uh, the hard part I did was, was actually take off about a half inch 
off the bottom of that big uh, cut across the bottom there. Um, not sure you can see it, but that cut's about the size of my hand. Um, <clears throat> but anyhow, uh, I also came back and worked the surface roots um, so that I could uh, improve those. I, I cut a lot of roots. That, this tree had a lot of roots that were growing straight up, actually, because it was when I actually got it, it was buried about this deep. So many of the roots were were growing up. So I pruned those, got those out of the way, and uh, hopefully I've got the root ball small enough that it can go in that pot back there in the background. Let's find out. Just looking, it doesn't look like it's gonna make it. going to be really tight and it may never come out of that pot if I put it in but uh, I think I can get it in there Okay, it took a hell of a lot of work, but uh, um, I finally have the tree uh, comfortable in the container. Um, now, it's, it's, uh, it's always difficult to find uh, the best front for a round container, but I've been looking at this one, been looking all around. Got a couple interesting places. I like the change in the glaze from here to here. Um, Again, just some more of that kind of change and a little blue to green. I think my favorite part of the container though is right here. It kind of mimics uh, backwards, the uh, uh, repeats the, the spread of the, uh, the root. So I think I'll choose this as the front of the container um, and I'll finish repotting. Okay, friends, here we go. Um, I think uh, this is the final uh, state for now. Um, probably could do a little pruning. Maybe we'll do a little pruning. Um, I was massive on the roots, really hard on the roots, cut a bunch off. Um, but we got it into the container successfully. Um, I think the tree will be just fine. It's nice and stable. It is extremely heavy. Um, but. Uh, Eli, Waldo Street Pottery, man, I think this one uh, came out very, very well. Uh, thank you so much for helping me um, make my trees look better. So, you guys have a great day. Maybe you'll see me again. I don't know. We'll see.